Hello, gorgeous skies. And good afternoon, everybody. We've made our way to Rainbow Springs State Park. And this is located about two hours out of Orlando or Tampa area. We have an overnight stay ahead with hopefully a little bit of kayaking, a little bit of snorkeling, and some adventuring. And let's check out the campsites. Take a little bit of a look at the campsites that they have here. bathhouse excess park in here It's reasonably private. It's another bathhouse. Got 23, 24. This is us, 25. So you can take a look at our site. I like it. Can't really see people behind you. We've got a picnic table, fire ring back here, barbecue stand, and electric and water. A nice place to put the tent. Lots of room. So here's a good look at our site. As we go out wandering a little bit, see what we can find in the campground itself. And we'll take a look at this bathhouse. You got a men's room, family room, and a women's room to the other side. And there is a sink here for washing your dishes. And inside, we've got some toilets, sinks, showers, and a washer dryer also. So they do have some pull-through sites, as well as back in. A little less privacy on these. The one thing that they did not give us on the way in was a map. And the campground is separate from the headspring area. The headspring is already closed for the day, so we need to wake up super early tomorrow and be able to get in before it fills up to capacity. They've said the headspring opens at 8, and it fills up shortly thereafter. So some of these sites don't have a lot of privacy. There's supposed to be a little trail in the campground area and a place to be able to launch your own kayak. So behind the ranger station you have a little playground, pavilion area for barbecues, a little swampy area. Alright, so we'll take a little walk on the nature trail. It smells like downy freshener over here. Oh. Okay. It's like, which way do you go? Left or right? I guess we'll go right. It's like little ground hornets in the sand. Oh boy. So no Mary today too, and she's missing out because today is about 85, 86 degrees. Last weekend when we were camping in Sawani Springs, it was between 30 to 50 degrees. So a little shift in temperatures this week, but she's with Jess running errands today doing mom and daughter things. And she left me all alone. Oh, there's some big sand mounds. Nothing but sand mounds. It's starting to feel like space balls. They've been out in the desert all day. Ooh. 
So this is the road that you come in on, ironically, next to the trail. Um, in order to get in, you need the gate code. So I didn't realize they were calling me multiple times to try to give me the gate code as I was driving here. Otherwise, it's a pretty nondescript entranceway, which is the keypad. And you can't get to the campground by the head spring. And when we went to the head spring, because that's where GPS took us initially, everything was locked up for the day. And by the way, I think I should have zigged when I zagged. I should have gone to the left instead of the right there. Some kind of track in the sand there. Maybe deer. Right, here we go. I should have realized the last area had no markers. Check it out. I know he's afraid. It's so cool. I'm not here to hurt you, buddy. And there's somebody's home. There's always a bench. Very pretty. Love the moss. Now look at this. It's like I'm on a haunted trail. Spooky. It kind of feels like I'm back up north. All right, so that about does it for the nature trail. So I've come up by where you can launch a canoe, and there's like a little outside theater. That's pretty awesome. There's a kayak and tube launch over here. Oh, and there's a little swimming area here. I get a warning sign and some folks out on kayaks. And some scuba divers. Nice. Here's the kayak area. to rent. Or should I blow mine up and carry it here? This is a long distance to walk with that heavy inflatable kayak. The rental store is over by the ranger station check-in area which is probably about a quarter mile or so at least away from where the kayaks actually are. All right so we're gonna put a pin in kayaking until tomorrow when we get to the head springs. I started blowing up the inflatable kayak and then I remembered how much I hate to blow up the inflatable kayak when it is uh, super hot outside. I went to rent a kayak and it's just after 3 o'clock, um, but they're not renting anymore for the day because they figure that you want to take it out for longer than uh, two hours. And the head spring's closed, so tomorrow. So we're a little non-traditional here for dinner, chicken fried rice and General Charles chicken. And there's the finished product. Not a traditional camping meal, but it looks good. Dinner was amazing. It's only five o'clock. We'll wash up little pots and pans and then just relax. Sun, starting to go down a little bit. Well, six o'clock and the sun is almost all the way down. By the way, if you haven't seen it before, I can show you inside this Gazelle T4 tent. We've got the outside kind of set up so that we just had the screens. Put this screen down here and 
This is what we've got going on. Air mattress, sleeping bag. Instead of the heater this time, we got a little bit of a fan, some snacks. But plenty of room in here that you can stand up if you didn't have this in the middle. But you can fit four comfortably. Or two really comfortably. Or one super spacious. And you can see that there's pockets on each side here, so plenty of room and then storage there. And you can put storage up top. And I got a lantern hanging from there. And tons of windows. So lots of cross ventilation. And this thing literally sets up in less than 90 seconds. I do gotta say the campsites here are pretty awesome. Lots of room. Some of them have lots of privacy. I think my site's really good. But the bummer is these campsites are not connected to the main park and there's not a tremendous amount of things to do in the campsite section. I did hear somebody from a campsite through the brush that said there was an alligator over there. There is supposed to be a full moon tonight, so I guess we'll see in a little while how it looks. 6.30, the sun has set. So I'm gonna burn a couple of these garbagey pine mountain logs. So, that's a noise. Now it stopped. Is back. Got that awesome bird over there too. I have never seen so many stars so crisp in my life. I don't know if this camera picks them up at all, but I've been taking still shots. If this is picking it up, I mean, those dots are just literally stars. I know it sounds stupid, but it is so clear outside. The moon is coming up, but we are obstructed with trees. There you can see it through the trees. All kinds of awesome. And at 8.15, we've got a moon. Maybe it's a Death Star. Also, lots of gunshots out that way. And fire. And there you have it. Good morning from the inside of the tent. Super foggy. Shower done. All right, 7.15 in the morning. All packed up and we're out of here. Park opens at eight. It is a quarter to eight. I've got my awesome camping breakfast by Hardee's and uh, we are sixth in line. 8 a.m. on the dock. There's the gate. Journey begins. Cars behind us as well. Railroad crossing up ahead. Now we saw a railroad overpass on the way over here yesterday. That looked really pretty cool. Oh. Like fleeing for their lives as this car is gonna run them over. The squirrel like ran right to me. Making our way in. Check out that cardinal. Thank you. So I paid my fee. It's two dollars to come in. I'm going to go swimming waterfalls. This is a pretty awesome entranceway here. Gorgeous. We'll head down the trail first. Look at that water. It almost looks fake. 
for all the springs that we've been to. I don't think I've ever seen the water that clear. So this, theoretically, is a waterfall. This would be Seminal Falls, remnants of Rainbow Springs attraction era, built in 1937, utilizing soil dredge from a nearby phosphate pit. But there's no water falling. We got some really swampy areas here. But I don't see any of our fine leathery friends. I know they're in there though. I hear something. More swampy area. More importantly, running water. Look at that. Just across the way, there's supposed to be another waterfall, but that's not running either. It's an interesting water fountain. So, a couple interesting things about this park. Once upon a time, they had a zoo, they had a rodeo. Well, That's not too creepy. Here's some information about the zoo. It's the remnants of zoo cages and habitats. Kind of interesting that they kept all of this stuff here. birds. There are a lot of birds here. So next to the zoo area, lots of fences. And as you walk past the flowers, tons of bees. You could hear them buzzing. I feel bad walking down the road here when there's so many birds out. Either that or I'm kind of turning into Snow White. So this area was the barn for the rodeo, 1968 to 1974. And this just strikes me funny that they would have a gate with a padlock on it when you can literally walk around the side of it here. But here you go, Yellow Trail. Squirrels, habitat restoration. That's where Jason Voorhees keeps his mother. And of course a bench. Which one should we choose? I guess we go yellow. Also, bear aware. It's like the remnants of this tree are waving. Any wildlife, but this couldn't be any more peaceful or beautiful. Look at those prints. Maybe bobcat. You know, any spider webs in the brush. I've never seen anything like this.
Look at the road up ahead. Awesome. I'll come up on, I guess, might be a sinkhole. No. Concrete hole. The hatch, Dharma Initiative. Oh, just a little bit of a drop off. Look at that. More stuff to look at. Well, that was a nice little walk. Coming back over by the waterfalls, the springs in the distance. Nice little overlook. The spring is working. A closer look at Rainbow Falls. And by the way, restricted area, venomous snakes. Good to know. Good to know. Still not seeing any of our friends out here. Anybody home? Not an alligator to be seen. Weird. Sight lines around the water. All just gorgeous. All right, change it up a little bit. I'm gonna go see a man about a canoe. Some information about why the water is so clear here. Kayak that look at them. It's clear. So you can see straight to the bottom. This is what it's looking like out here. So we drift away. Down below. Not too shabby. Oh. Pop this head up over here. Look at how clear it is. Go for a little dip. But I guess it's a good thing. All right, gonna head back towards in. My pants are soaked, but that was hella fun. I think regular kayaks are $16 an hour, and a clear bottom one was 20 bucks. And the reason why I went with that is because that was all that they had left. Everything is booked up for the day already. So the biggest advice is, Get here early. 
And there are a lot of people out there swimming. The swimming area is really big though. I think we've seen it all. We've done it all. Well, except for swimming, that is. That's another view. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right, Rainbow Springs, we're getting out of here. Uh, mixed bag here. The campground, really nice spaces to camp. Uh, very spacious, at least especially in the spot that I had. So really great privacy and everything. Uh, not a lot of noise. People cut the noise at like 10 o'clock last night. Um, not a lot to do in the campsite side. So you can launch a canoe there. You can do a little bit of swimming in a smaller area. And the park here is really the gem. So you can come here on a day trip during, uh, you know, any time and uh, be able to enjoy the trails and the swimming and the kayaking and canoeing and stuff. The water is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I absolutely loved uh, being able to take that kayak out. It's just a very limited capacity here. It's very similar to Blue Springs State Park over towards us where we tend to go to see the manatees where if you're not there at the crack of dawn uh, for opening, then you're not gonna get in. Um, and here, it closes pretty early, but uh, well worth it if you can make it out here in the morning. So that's uh, gonna do it for me at Rainbow Springs State Park. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you wanna be treated. Have a great day, we'll see you guys.